Thank you. Thank you for attending JTAG Vigor IPPVX Certified Team webinar. My name is Perry Liao, the Marketing Project Manager of JTAG Corporation. In this technical application-based webinar, we will focusing on the latest firmware version 3.5.5.3 to introduce those benefits can be provided by JTAG Vigor IPPVX Certified Team to the real case business scenario. In fact, JTAG's Vigor IPVVX Certified Team can be treated as the remedy from the traditional PVX setup for you to get rid of the costly implementation or the tedious settings. In the third section, we would like to show you how Vigor IPVX Certified Team used the advanced PVX feature to provide the productivity enhancement for your workplace. In this section, we will use the actual business scenario and the configuration steps provided by Vigo IPVX Certified Team to prove you how Vigo IPVX Certified Team can boost the productivity and also enhance the customer certification for you. First, we will introduce the Red Inward Dial In Proceed Alias for reaching responsible one directly even via zip code. From the previous configuration step, we know SMB is to register one zip account at the IP tail. The actual zip account number would be a468 at iptail.org and IP tail provides a bunch of the zip alias number to XYZ company. And the NIS always say the system admin would like to assign one zip alias number what we call 34317904 for forwarding to extension 2011 belonging to Luke Josh. So Luke can pick up the customer phone call directly from zip trunk. So let's see how we do it. We go to the IPVVX section and we choose line setting and we choose zip trunk list. Down below, you can see one what we call zip alias list. Click this one and you will see the profile for your setting. First, you definitely enable this profile. And the alias name, I would like to put Luke's name, so we say Luke Josh. The alias number we just saw from the previous scenario, 34317904. And the zip alias trunk definitely goes to the SMB team. And there's an interesting feature. You can choose to have the outgoing call caller ID to display the main number or the alias number. I will choose the alias number while we see the 34317904 here. And you can also say the office hour ensemble and non-office hour ensemble. So you say office hour ensemble when people dial 34317904 you directly forward to extension 2011 so Luke's desktop phone extension 2011 will ring when the customer calls directly to his zip alias number Another will introduce the auto attendant function or people some people call AA JTAX Vega IPVX certified hands auto attendant function can do for all applied trunk. In our case, we got the zip trunk and the PSTN trunk for the zip trunk. You can choose to have the office hour ensemble forward to the auto attendant, so there's the non office hour ensemble. For the PSTN trunk, it will be the same. Office hour ensemble, you can choose forward to the auto attendant, so does the non-office hour ensemble. After completing the trunk settings, we can do for the office hour setting. Actually, we already complete the first part of our office hour setting by the wizard feature. And we can do the second part of the office hour in IPVVX session PPX system and office hours. You can do the holiday setting for each month right here and done. After the trunk 
and the office hour setting, you can complete your auto attendance setting by the wizard function. You just go to the PBX system and this time you choose auto attendant wizard. In fact, every time when I see the buzzword wizard, I will be very happy because I know the following configuration step will be boom, 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 and done. So just like that. First, we do the office hour and then we do the non-office hour and done, just like that following feature would be the hunt group it can provide you the better way to handling your incoming code like you like those incoming code to running simultaneously or sequentially or running the specific extension which you assign and for the Hong Guru configuration, you go to the IPvX section and you still choose PBX system and then you can find Hong Guru. I will use two examples to explain the configuration step. One would be the SMB ST, another would be SMB YST. First, we will introduce the SMB ST, which got the Hong Group extension as 201. When there is an incoming code called their group extension, for SMB team, they would like their hung rule as running simultaneously. This is because the transition of the SMB team, they would like to every sales rep to participate for those incoming code to their group extension. So we add those available extensions belonging to SMB team right here as the chosen extension from the extension 2011 all the way to 2011 excuse me 2015 to include every member in the team we add another feature what we call overflow rule why we need overflow rule? believe me there is some situation everybody is busy no one can handle the incoming code so they like the overflow rule is when everybody is busy, the code will go to the voicemail. Another example we will do for the SMB US team, which got a Hong group extension as 202. When there is an incoming code to their group extension, they would like to make their Hong rule as running sequentially. This is because SMB West team, they don't like anybody other than himself or herself to touch their account. So the home rule would be first ring as extension 2023, the sales assistant of the SMB was team. Following would be the sales associate manager extension 2022 and the last one would be the sales manager extension 2021. When these three extensions are all busy they would like to make their overflow rule as voicemail go to extension 2023 belonging to the sales assistant. From the former examples, we know in some situation we are forced to make some code to be forward to voicemail. Therefore, JTAC provides some comprehensive voicemail mechanism. We just go to the IPvX section and we choose extension and we pick up the extension 2011 again our old friend Luke Josh. You see, when there is no answer after 60 seconds, you will go to the voicemail. In fact, JTAC can let this voicemail to be forward to Luke's email as well. Just type Luke's email address right here. And then when there is a voicemail to Luke's extension, you will be forward to Luke's email inbox. So Luke will see the things like that and he can listen to the voicemail right from his email inbox. Another way to remind Luke he got a voicemail, what we call message waiting indication. When there is a voicemail to Luke's extension, like extension 2011, when if Luke is use our Vigo phone 350, he will see the flash from his Vigo phone 350. Or other phone, he will pick up the phone and listen the special tone, what we call the NWI tone, and he will know he got a voicemail. How we configure? We go to Luke extension, extension 2011. We just 
check the message waiting indication section and we can click notify user who subscribe and look will be reminded by the message waiting indication. Following will introduce several advanced cool features to let you know how Vega IPvX certified team make your employee life even easier. First, I will say code park and code retrieve. A common scenario in the business world. Look, as a salespeople, he might pick up a phone call suddenly and he realized this call is from an important customer who would like to discuss a big case with him. First of all, Luke is happy. Secondly, Luke knows it's inappropriate for him to discuss this kind of case at his desk. Why? Because everybody knows how noise is sales floor. So Luke can use the Copac feature. He can press the transfer button and dial 777 to park this call. And then Luke can find a quiet meeting room and dial what the system told him when he parked this call. In our case, like 20112 to retrieve that call and then Luke can discuss with his customer. Good luck, Luke. You might have a question, why Luke need to dial 777? Here is the answer. In the IPvX section, when you choose the PBX system, then you see the C proxy setting. We have the default value of our parking server number, 777. Hey, what lucky number for sales. You can keep this 777 or change for your appropriate number accordingly. Another is code forwarding feature. So it's another common scenario. Luke may not be at the office for the following week because he's on business trip, but he doesn't want to miss the incoming call, especially from his customer. So he will ask the NIS or the IT department to set when there is an incoming call to Luke's extension 2011. Let the IPvX certified team to forward the call through the zip trunk directly to Luke's smartphone, which has the registered zip trunk number. So, you know, reasonable request, but how we do it? Let's see. So for the eyes of the IT staff, you just go to Luke's extension 2011. In the answer mode section, we say forward to the zip trunk. And before that, you say, no answer after 60 seconds, you go to the forward to zip trunk. Busy, then forward to zip trunk. Not online, forward to zip trunk. But what else the zip trunk you really mentioned too? So I believe you still remember, we assign one zip alias to look. So when we forward to zip trunk, it means we dial to 34017904, the zip alias number belonging to Luke. Okay, we believe we give you enough example for you how to better handle those incoming code. But believe me, there's some situation for the codes you really don't want to hear. So we got code bearing features. Still, you go to the IPvX section and you choose dial plan, and this time you choose code bearing. So we see the advanced section first. You can choose to block the anonymous, means those call incoming call without the caller ID, or block the unknown domain. But for XYZ company, they doesn't do their business that harsh, so we follow in the profile setting to block our inappropriate code by the code bearing feature. We go to the code bearing style page and choose one profile. First you enable this profile and you can choose your code direction like incoming code or outgoing code or both in and out. The bearing type you can set for the zip URL or the specific number. But if you choose the zip URL you need to type 
the zip URL which you mean to, for example, like iptail.org. The interface, in our case, you can choose zip PSTN OO. You can even set the schedule for your co-bearing route, like that. So that's handy. Thank you for your attending or listening today.